Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make my absolutely delicious chicken, bacon and leek cottage pie. I saw this recipe in one of the pinch and on books. I've changed it about a bit, added some more things, taken some things away and created my own. So here's the recipe. This recipe is great. Not only is it super cheesy on top, it's super quick to make, serves four and works out as 496 calories a portion. That's amazing. For this, you will need 750 grams of potatoes, one leek, one onion, 500 grams of chicken, four bacon medallions with no fat, two teaspoons of mustard, 350 milliliters of chicken stock, 110 grams of low fat cream cheese, two teaspoons of parsley, one teaspoon of thyme, 80 grams of reduced fat cheddar, and some fry light. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you're kept up to date with all my yummy recipes and whatever else I've got going on. I've also started YouTube memberships where you can see the videos beforehand, a load of extra footage and small mini vlogs. There's a Discord community that you'll have access to. There's loads. So if you want to check it out, I'll put a link in the description below. Right, so let's get started. First off, peel and then cut up your potatoes. Once cut up, bung them in a pan. Cover them with boiling water, add a pinch of salt and bubble away for about 20 to 25 minutes until they're soft. While they're bubbling away, cut up your leeks, your onion, your bacon rounds, I've done mine in strips, and your chicken into chunks. Then make your stock. Once your stock's made, in a warming pan, spray some fry light and pop in your chopped up leeks and onions. Give these a little fry for a couple of minutes until they start to soften and brown like this. Then add in your chicken and bacon and cook for another five or six minutes. Now add in 300 milliliters of your chicken stock. You wanna save 50 mils for your mashed potato later. Once you've added your stock, add in your mustard and give everything a mix. Once mixed together, bring to a simmer and simmer away for about 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, it should look like this. Give it a stir and turn off the heat. I like to allow mine to cool a bit before adding the cream cheese so it doesn't curdle. Once your mix just cooled a little bit, add in 80 grams of the cream cheese and your thyme. Give everything a mix, leave it on a low heat to warm through. While that's warming, it's time to mash your potatoes. Today I'm using a potato ricer, but you can mash it with a fork or however you like. Once I've mashed all of the potato, Add in the 50 mils of remaining chicken stock, your parsley, and the 30 grams of remaining cream cheese. Then mix everything together so it's a delicious, creamy, parsley mashed potato, just like this. Once your mashed potato has been created, it's time to make your cottage pie. Today I'm using four individual oven proof dishes for four portions, but you can pop it in a big oven proof dish if you want, it's up to you. Spoon your mixture into your oven proof dish or dishes. Make sure it's evenly spread out. And top with your yummy mashed potato. Once your potato is evenly spread out, you can level it with a fork and sprinkle on your grated cheese. I'm putting on 20 grams of reduced fat cheese onto each of mine, but if you're making a big one, just sprinkle the whole 80 grams all over the top. Once covered in your cheese, pop it in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes at 200 degrees C until the cheese is golden brown. Once the cheese looks golden brown and delicious like this, 
it's ready to serve. And there you go. Absolutely delicious, great on the calories, and really warming and hearty chicken, bacon, and leek cottage pie. Best chicken, bacon, and leek cottage pie I've ever made.